Hey friends, it's Gina. Welcome to the Rebookery channel. Before we get started on today's process video, I wanted to give you a quick heads up about some upcoming things I have going on with my Etsy shop and with my journaling and just with my journals in general. So on Wednesday, the 12th of July, I'm going to put a video out on YouTube that will be a flip through of my latest collection. It will be my last collection in my Etsy shop this summer. I will then post these in my Etsy shop probably around five or six uh, Wednesday evening. These journals that I will be showing you guys on Wednesday they are mini binder junk journals. They're like the big ones that I did earlier, but they're a smaller size and they are loaded with yummy, yummy goodness. I'm so excited. So I have seven of those. So that video, look for it. It will be on Wednesday, July 12th, sometime uh, in the afternoon, probably around one or so central standard time. And then like I said, I'll put them in my Etsy shop uh, later that evening. And then I also have some other interesting things that I want to share with you guys. And I will tell you about those things in that video on Wednesday. Okay, got that stuff out of the way. Now let's move on to the process. This journal process that I want to do is about a mushroom that decided to move in with my cactus that are on my back deck. And I thought it was kind of silly. Um, my daughter and I noticed it and we kind of laughed because it's just the irony of the whole situation. I mean, they're two totally different species and they require two totally different climates, but yet they decided to shack up together. So I was thinking about this layout and I was really thinking about to me, mushrooms are kind of like magical, fairy, gnome type of stuff. And I wanted to kind of incorporate that. So I pulled out my, one of my favoritest um, children's books. It's an old child craft book and it has really, really thick pages. Um, it's probably from the 1950s. And it's, it was really falling apart, so I don't mind, you know, tearing it up and using the pages. But there are some beautiful in illustrations in there. So I found a page that had uh, fairies on it, and I thought that would be a perfect back background for this. So the three photos I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use them. Uh, one is this one I just put at the top, which is kind of a silly photo. I actually got underneath the flower pot and tried to take a picture of the mushroom or toadstool, whatever it was. Then I have another picture of my cactus, my jade plant, and my mushroom all together in the same pot. And then I just have a small picture of my the cactus pot that I have. So I kind of thought that this picture would be cool if I... Um, filled in some of the missing details. Like I wasn't able to get the whole toadstool or mushroom uh, in this picture. So one of the things I like to do since I'm not a very good uh, illustrator, I'm, I'm not good at all at drawing, is I like to just take a photo and then kind of uh, use it as the guide and kind of fill in the missing pieces. So that's what I'm doing here is I just thought I would fill in the rest of the mushroom and then try to um, put some paint in there and I'm just using some watercolor to blend the background paper in with my photo. And I was really surprised when I went to put those clouds uh, at the top of the photo, I was really surprised at how well the paint took to uh, my photo paper. So that half circle that you see at the very top of that photo, that's actually my head. <laughs> so that was me looking over and then I was taking the picture um, from underneath that mushroom. So now I'm just taking my watercolors and just kind of blending in the photo and kind of making it, trying to make it all very cohesive. I am not a watercolor artist. I am... Um, very, very, very um, inexperienced when it comes to watercolor. And so 
Uh, I know I'm probably not using the correct techniques or anything, but this is just what happens to work for me, and I'm okay with the results because I'm not looking for a, a masterpiece or anything here. So, and I just like I just like playing with the watercolor and kind of pushing the pigments around the paper. So I'm just uh, filling in with some blues and some greens, and trying to add a little bit more detail. I'm gonna dry it. Um, I decided I needed some more brown that that mushroom really needed a little more shadowing um, underneath. So I go in and try to add some more of this detail. And again, I'm not very, very good at it. So it's okay because this is just the background and, and I'm quite all right with this not being perfect. I actually like it not being perfect. That's the, that's the whole thing I'm going for. So as I'm trying to work through this, I'll tell you a little bit about this layout. When I started it, I thought I was just going to document the silly mushroom that decided to get in with the cactuses, cacti, cactuses, cacti. But as I was doing this, I kind of thought about, well, this really just doesn't have to be about this cactus and this mushroom, because I could have told this mushroom, you know, it didn't belong there. It actually turned into more of me and my kids, and I'm sure those of you with kids, you understand this too. If they would just listen to us, <laughs> we could just save them from so much pain and, <laughs> and agony and grief. And I feel like had that mushroom just listened to the mushroom fairy mother, it would have understood that it doesn't belong with the cactus. So as I go through this, layout it actually becomes less about the mushroom and more about me and my kids and all that good stuff so I go back to my book that has all those great illustrations and I there was one in there that had this really pretty picture of a fairy and it looked like she was talking down to something and I, I knew that I wanted to use that so I uh, went through that book to see if I could find that picture so once I have that picture, in my mind I'm thinking, okay, I, that's like the mushroom's mom and she's telling the little baby mushroom, mushrooms don't belong with cactus, you're not a cactus. Um, so I had to figure out how I wanted, how I wanted to put this together because I originally was wanting to put my photo of the cactus and the mushroom together on the mushroom or whatever that she's sitting on, but it was way too big. So I had to figure out how to incorporate this. So I found my um, field guide. It's my North American wildlife book. I think I've talked about it before. I have like four or five copies of it, but I love, love, love to pull stuff out of, out of this book. And so I just pulled a picture of a mushroom. I don't know if it is the same one that was actually in that pot. Um, I just picked one that was the right color and the right size. And so I want to put it on that little mushroom that she's sitting on and like she's talking down to it. But I need to, um, I need to, to somehow break this and, and turn it back into what it is, which is it is an art journaling page. So I pulled out a piece of uh, wallpaper and I'm just gonna put a strip of that across the paper. I always want to make sure that I'm not being too literal. I don't I don't want to be too literal with my stuff. I want it to be very abstract and haphazard and and kind of um you know, when you see it you'll be like, "Oh, wonder why she did that." type of thing. So, just adding that strip of wallpaper in there just kind of added a little break. It reminded me that I'm not I'm not an illustrator. I'm not trying to recreate this this illustration. I'm I'm journaling and I'm junk journaling. So I put that strip down, then took the little mushroom that I cut out and I'm gonna glue him on that strip. And one of the things I really like to do with this field guide, this North American wildlife book, is it always has a picture of whatever a uh, mushroom or flower or tree, and then it always has a little description. And I've done this in a few of my journals before, 
especially in my poetry journal, I remember doing this, is I just take the words and cut them apart and then just glue them on the page. And it's just kind of adding a little extra detail. And then because I cut the words apart, there's just little phrases. And so those little phrases kind of peek through the background and it just kind of adds a little extra something to look at when you're looking at this um, at the spread. So that's what I'm doing is I'm just cutting apart the description of that mushroom and sticking little phrases all around the page. Now it's time to start adding some journaling. And like I said, this has become less about the mushroom and the cactus and more about just me as a mom and just kind of the growing pains of your kids getting older and, you know, not listening to you. And, and that's what they're supposed to do. I mean, that's how they make their own life. So, um, but my background is really busy and I needed to figure out how, and I have a lot of things I want to say. So I needed to figure out how I was going to make my words stand out. So the, the, the picture that I'm working on right now, I have the fairy and I have the mushroom and I feel like they're having a conversation. So for the fairy, I had her words or the journaling that was going to come out of her mouth um, with like some little label stickers. These were little recipe label stickers. And so I just put those on the paper and then now I'm going to have what the baby mushroom says back to her. So I'm trying to think here. Um, I think it says, the, the fairy says, but darling, um, it's going to be far away and dangerous. And then the mushroom replies, mom, it will be okay. So I don't know about you, but I hear those words all the time like all the time, <laughs> my kids, especially my youngest, that's what he says to me all the time. Mom, it'll be okay. Mom, I'll be okay. Um, so I just stamped that on there with the stamps that I've been using in my garden journal because I, I think that this is where this is going to go is I'm going to put this in my garden journal even though it's turned into more of some stuff about my kids. And <clears throat> just like I've been doing, I will go inside of those uh, stamped letters with my gel pen to kind of make them pop off the page a little bit. And then one of the things that my kids always say to me, especially my youngest, is once he tells me, mom, it'll be okay, he always goes back and says, I promise. So I needed to include that. And I think I write it on the um, flower pot here in just a second. What I just went up and did was I had that space in between where it said, but darling. And so I drew a line and up above it, I wrote insert name here because this could really apply to any of my three children. Um, you could just insert any of their names there on any given day, and this would be a conversation that we would be having. So underneath where it says, I promise, then I went back and I took the last of my little label stickers and I wrote right underneath it, I wrote, me too, because that's kind of how I feel. I feel like I tell them, but it's gonna be dangerous, but you, you don't know what's gonna happen, but you're gonna get hurt, but it's not gonna work out. And then they say, no, we'll be okay, I promise. And then in my mind, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, I know, me too. I, I promise it's going to be the way I said it was going to be. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. So now I've got a ton of journaling I want to write about because now this has totally changed gears and <laughs> it's off on a whole other tangent. So I need to figure out how to enter some, uh, put some journaling in here. So I'm going to put a hidden uh, pocket behind this layout. I wanted to keep this one page, but what I can do is take the back and I'll just put a piece of paper that I pulled out of that field guide on uh, mushrooms and I'm going to glue it to the back or secure it to the back. And then I have this old postcard that has a mushroom on it that I thought was really fitting. And I just sewed some trim across the top of it. And then I'm going to put it in that little secret pocket that is um, on the back side. So there's my last photo. 
and I didn't think I was going to use it, but actually I think it'll be perfect right on this postcard that I'm going to do all my journaling. So on the postcard, I'm pretty much just saying what I've told you guys. Um, this started off about mushrooms and cacti, and it turned into, you know, kids and letting them grow up and make their own mistakes and understanding that they have to make their own mistakes, kind of like the mushroom had to make his own mistake, which by the way, the mushroom didn't last very long. Um, I don't even know that he lasted a full 24 hours in there with the cactus. And then I'm going to go with a china marker over, um, and put some lines on my journaling so it doesn't look so messy. And then I thought about on the front, it would be really cool to write, you are not a cactus, <laughs> because that's what I feel like I wanna say to my kids sometimes, you are not a cactus. <laughs> you do not need to go do that. that. That's not going to work for you. And sometimes I'm right and sometimes I'm wrong and that's okay because my parents had to do the same for me and that's just part of being a parent even though even though it sucks, <laughs> that's just part of being a parent. So put it all together, I'm gonna punch my holes and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my garden journal but I really don't know where in my garden journal so I have to kind of flip through it, figure out what's gonna be the best place for it. So I have some sections already put in here. I stop at the flower section because I think, oh, I guess it could work there because my cactus does flower. And then I was flipping through that guest section and I just happened to have a book page of a mushroom in there and I thought, well, okay, this will work. It will be perfect because the two mushroom pages will be back to back, so that's cool. And then there's my journaling card and yeah. So this totally works. I love it. It went in a totally different direction than what I was thinking, but that's that's one of those journaling spreads that I absolutely love. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for listening to my ramblings about art and being a mom and the anguish of having kids. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to tune in on Wednesday. And if you liked this, please subscribe, share it with a friend, and have a great day. Bye.